Maraming salamat, Amen. Ama. Pinagot mong lahat ang aming panalangin sa araw na ito. Maraming salamat po sa magandang araw na muli sa ngalan ni Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise Jesus. Amen. Bago tayo mag-umpisa, um, magbabasa tayo ng um, Bible verse sa John chapter John chapter 15 verse 5. Amen. John chapter 15 verse 5. Ah, uh, sandali lang po. Ang sabi niya dito, I will read in English. Sabi niya, I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Kung saan man kayo naroon, itasan niyo ang kamay at ipalakpak sa Panginoon. Amen. Yung pinakamalakas na palakpak. Kung ikaw ay nanonood sa Facebook, ipalakpak mo rin ang kamay mo dyan. <laughs> Hallelujah. Dahil ang Diyos ay mabuti. Amen. Our God is good. The Lord, our God is great. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
Lord, maraming maraming salamat po God Lord para God to this opportunity and this uh, afternoon na uh, now my Lord uh, pasalamatan natin ang mahal nating Panginoon na siyang nagbigay uh, buhay ng bawat isa we thank you so much to each and everyone today that God give us opportunity to come over here to worship Him to honor Him and glory to God that if each one of us is safe and glo uh, glory to each and everyone that God is very, very uh, gl glorious God and merciful God. And God is only a God at no more ones. It's only Him. Maraming salamat, Panginoon ko, sa hapong ito na binigyan mo po kami ng panahon ng bawat isa. At tayo ay manalangin para sa Kanya at ipag Ipamigay natin ang lahat ng ating mga burdens, ano man ang kahinaan ng ating puso, kaisipan, at ano mang mga klaseng problema sa ating buhay. Any kind of problem, we have to surrender to Him and glorify Him. Because God is answer our prayer. No one na hindi tayo masasagot ng ating prayer. But we have time. God answer all our prayers. Dahil Isinishare ko sa inyo, God is very faithful because this happened to me. I want to share just a little bit and then I will start the prayer. Aking kamay na nangyari sa aking arms is not a accident that is maybe is a scams to me to this happen because that time is I'm hurrying up to those the things that I need to tidy up and I want to prepare for my exhortation that day that Sister Deconess that asked me to exhortation for 15 minutes that I got uh, uh, meeting. So I hurry up to do the things in the kitchen and I don't know what happens to me and I always think over so much and I stress my mind that even I do my work is, is in there how to prepare those exhortations to share in the Agape Lab. But that's happened is it's too hard for me, but Lord is not being vain for me, but God is so perfect full for me. And everything is fine. So, maraming salamat sa mahal natin, Panginoon, dahil ginamot niya ako ng husto. God is healed me faithfully, and the skin is already uh, melted the, the mark. So, I thank God and glorify to Him. Amen. Hallelujah. I will start our prayer for afternoon. That, uh, our uh, my, my prayer points is, we had to pray to our Lord Jesus Christ that our pastor mom is give her, her more help and also her family. At sa ating lahat dito, and everyone, everybody, that God give us more help and save everything. And God give us all our needs and provide all our needs. Panalangin natin sa mahal natin Panginoon sa hapong ito. Father, bigyan mo po kami Panginoon to ng lakas ng aming pastor at ang kanyang pamilya, ang kanyang mga anak, ang kanyang child na good help for every day, every them, everybody, all their needs, oh God, Lord, Father God, to provide for them and for us, oh God, Lord, Father God. Maraming salamat sa kung ito, Panginoon ko, na bigyan mo po kami, oh God, Lord, Father God, ng patuloy na mana na galing sa iyo, Panginoon ko. Pinadalangin ko, Panginoon ko, ng lahat ng aming mga needs, Panginoon ko. Ay ibigay mo para sa amin, Panginoon ko. Give us all everything, O God, Lord, Father God. Maraming salamat, O God, Lord, Father God, na patuloy mo po kami, O God, Lord, Father God. Bigyan lakas ng aming sarili. Give us more strength, O God, Lord, Father God. Bigyan mo po kami, O God, Lord, katatagan ng aming mga sarili, Panginoon ko. At yan lang po, Panginoon ko, ang aking panalangin sa hapong ito. And uh, one more thing, so God, Lord, Father God, na ang nalangin, Panginoon ko, lahat po, all our sister, oh God, Lord, Father God, na nanghihina sa kanyang pananampalataya, 
Juan, oh God, Lord, Father God, is called their faith to God, oh God, Lord, Father God. Lord, give them, oh God, Lord, Father God, touch their heart, oh God, Lord, Father God, to back into you, oh God, Lord, Father God, to, to, work in, to walk in you, oh God, Lord, Father God, to pray into you, oh God, Lord, Father God, Lord. Patuloy mo po sila, Panginoon, to nalikumin. Bring them back here, oh God, Lord, Father God, to worship you, oh God, Lord, Father God, to honor you, oh God, Lord, Father God. We thank you so much, oh God, Lord, Father God, to this afternoon, oh God, Lord, Father God. Hindi lang ito, oh God, Lord, ang pumunta ngayong hapon, oh God, Lord, Father God. But Lord, bring back them all, oh God, Lord, Father God. That is my prayer to you, oh God, Lord, Father God. I know, oh God, Lord, Father God, this afternoon, oh God, Lord, Father God, my prayer, you are listening right now, oh God, Lord, Father God. We thank you so much, oh God, Lord, Father God, that you are listening our prayer to this afternoon, oh God, Lord, that all our sister, oh God, Lord, Father God, is not here right now, oh God, Lord, Father God. Bring back them in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And also, oh God, Lord, Father God, panalangin ko, oh God, Lord, sa iyo, oh God, Lord, Father God, lahat ng mga kapatiran, oh God, Lord, Father God, na nanglalamin O God, Lord, Father God, Lord, give them come down themselves, O God, Lord, and thank over them, O God, Lord, Father God. Send, O God, Lord, to them, O God, Lord, to each and everyone. I know, O God, Lord, Father God, you are the powerful God, O God, Lord, Father God. That's their heart right now, O God, Lord, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Maraming salamat sa hapong ito, O God, Lord, Father God, dahil ikaw lamang po, O God, Lord, Father God, ang nagbigay buhay. You are the one who created us, O God, Lord, and give us, O God, Lord, Father God, to stand to your throne, O God, Lord, Father God, to worship you, to honor you, O God, Lord, Father God, to praise you, O God, Lord, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon ko. And also, O God, Lord, Father God, I pray unto you, O God, Lord, this coming week, O God, Lord, Father God, I know, O God, Lord, you have the purpose and you have planned for us, O God, Lord, Father God, to open this month, O God, Lord, to gathering right now, to start to gathering, O God, Lord, Father God. We love you so much, O God, Lord, Father God, and miss you to worship you and praise you, O God, Lord, Father God. Thank you, Jesus, O God, Lord, Lord, padalangin natin, idalangin natin sa Panginoon na buksan niya, O God, Lord, open the gates, O God, Lord, na to worship you, O God, Lord, Father God, this month, O God, Lord, Father God. To start to gathering, O God, Lord, to worship you and honor you, O God, Lord, Father God. Maraming maraming salamat, O God, Lord, sa ahapong ito, O God, Lord, na binigyan mo po kami, O God, Lord, ng pagkakataon. We give all the glory and to you, O God, Lord, Father God. We worship you, O God, Lord, Father God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Save us, O God, Lord, Father God, Lord. Ano man, O God, Lord, ang mangyayari sa ating buhay. Who want, O God, Lord, Father God, to worship Him. God, honor us, O God, Lord, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We honor you, Lord. Hallelujah, O Father God, Lord. Iniiyak ko sa iyo, O God, Lord, Father God, na pananampalakaya ko, O God, Lord, sa iyo. I cry into you, O God, Lord, Father God, even though I have to my work, O God, Lord, Father God, even though it's nahihirap alam, O God, Lord, Father God, but Lord, my heart and my mind is in you, O God, Lord, Father God. Dahil nahihirap alam ko sa trabaho ko, O God, Lord, Father God, even so hard my work right now, Lord, but I never forget you, O God, Lord, to worship you, O God, Lord, Father God. We thank you so much. Maraming salamat, O God, Lord, sa pagmamahal mo sa bawat isa sa amin, sa aming mga kapatiran, O God, Lord, na minahal namin, O God, Lord, we had, Lord, to continue to honor you, O God, Lord, Father God, to spread your words, O God, Lord, Father God. We continue to each and everyone to evangelize, O God, Lord, to the people that heaven um, save, uh, receive you, O God, Lord, Father God. We are continue, I promise unto you, O God, Lord, that I continue, even though all our sister here, we will do. For you, O God, Lord, your promises, O God, Lord, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Maraming maraming salamat, O God, Lord, sa lahat ng panalangin na ito, sa hapong ito. Alam ko, Panginoon, kung nang narinito ka, you are here right now, O God, Lord, to listen our prayer, O God, Lord, Father God. I know, O God, Lord, your Holy Spirit is right now, O God, Lord. I feel your Holy Spirit, O God, Lord, right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord, hallelujah, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. We thank you so much, O God, Lord, Father God. Maraming maraming salamat, Lord, sa oras na ito na binigyan mo ako. You give me a time, O God, Lord, Father God, to speak into you, O God, Lord, Father God, right now. I'm so happy so much, Lord, and give us all the glory and honor in Jesus.
Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for the prayer points, O oh God. We thank you and we bless your name, O oh God. We thank you also for the praise and worship that is glorifying you alone. Now, we are right now in the announcement section. So, uh, I'm welcoming you once again in this Agape Love Parish on the second Sunday of the month of April. And uh, our theme for this month is Helpless Without God. Amen. So, before we pursue, I would like to welcome our first timer. I would like to welcome Miss Shikina Dorcas Darkwa. Amen. You are welcome in Agapila Paris. You are welcome. We would like to hear from you. Uh, we would like to hear from you. And uh, we would like to hear from you. How are you and how's your family in the Philippines? So you are welcome. Please speak to us. Shikina. Open Hello. your video, please. I mean, we would like to see you also. Yeah. Okay. Tell something about yourself and who invited you. Hi, my name is Shikaina. I'm here in Philippines and I'm fine here. Who invited you? Yeah. Thank you for inviting me here. Yes. I mean, I mean, uh, who invited you here tonight, this afternoon? My mom oh, invited me here. Mommy oh, okay. okay, okay. So you are welcome once again in this Agape Love Parish, and we are so glad. We are so glad that you join us this afternoon. You are welcome. All right. So you're welcome. Hello, Shikina. So we would like to pray for you. We would like to pray for you. Stay there, and uh, if you have any desire in your heart that God wants to answer. So you just lift it up to the Lord and we are in one accord praying for you. Let's say pray for her. Father God Almighty, we thank you for the life of your daughter, Shekina, O oh God. Father, we thank you that any desire of her heart that she wants yes, to Lord, have an answered Jesus. prayer, Hallelujah. Father, we pray that you're going to answer it in the name of Jesus. Amen. We also pray, Father, that you're going to protect her in the Philippines, including her families. I, I pray also, Lord, that you're going to protect her in her studies, O oh God, and you will supply everything that they need in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you once again. Bless her, O oh God, and we give you back all the glory and honor. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. So, Amen. You're welcome once again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are welcome. Welcome you once again. So, in our announcement for this afternoon, don't forget that this coming Sunday is our first year anniversary. Are you excited? Yes. Hallelujah. We are all excited. Amen. We thank yes. God for all the goodness and faithfulness of God upon Agape Love Paris because no matter what happened, even the pandemic is over there raging in this land of Hong Kong, he will, they say, pandemic will not stop to worship. We, it will not stop us to worship him. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So, so prepare yourself on this coming Sunday. It is our first year anniversary. So we encourage you all to join us. And also please invite your friends. Hallelujah. And also... The same, the same uh, our, our Bible study, study every, every Wednesday at 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. As well as our meal on Friday starting 11.45 p.m. to 2 a.m. Hallelujah. So is there, so is there any testimonies in, testimonies in our meal? Who wants, wants to testify tonight, tonight for the goodness of God? God? Amen. Who wants to testify? You can just raise your hand. <laughs> oh, okay, Mommy Lori, please go on, Mommy. And mute yourself off. All right. Okay. And mute yourself. We can't hear you. Yes. It's okay. Also, yeah, but we also want to see your face. I, mm. Yes, that's it. Okay, I just want to uh, give God the glory and thank him for surrounding me of his children that cares for me. You know, I was really surprised because of this pandemic, 
most of you know that I'm out of work. Mm -hmm. But God is always there to send help from Amen. his children. Amen. I'm really grateful. I really thank God for all the lives of his children that remembers me. Yeah, not only me, even my daughter, Lorelin. And also, once again, I, I thank God for the uh, government in this nation that we are here. You know, although there's up and down because of this pandemic, they still give assistance for us. Thank you, Lord. You are really great. We give you all the glory, honor, and adoration. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Amen. We thank God. Who else? Who else who wants to testify? All right. So if uh, no more so let's pray for the testimony for tonight mm -hmm. father god almighty we thank you oh lord for providing for your daughter mommy lori father we thank you even not only providing for her resources oh god material things but also for providing her health lord in the name of jesus father we are in one accord lifting up to you our mommy oh god that you are going to heal her completely in the name of jesus Amen. for you are a faithful god lord yes. thank you for providing for her and for her daughter, Len Len, oh God. Father, you are forever great. We are forever grateful for your faithfulness, oh Lord. We give you back all the glory and honor. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. It's a offering time. Blessing offering time. time. Blessing time. So let's say, choir, please sing a song. Amen. Hallelujah. It's a offering time. Blessing time. I think all right it is a privilege to give to the lord amen thank you lord for the privilege that we can to the offering. Yeah. Father God Almighty, we thank you once again for the privilege that we can give. We acknowledge that everything that we have comes from you alone, oh God. That's why we are giving you back all the glory and honor. As you have blessed me, oh God, we will return all the blessings to you in the name of Jesus. Father, continue to bless each and every one of us in spite of this pandemic, oh God. Father, we believe that you are a faithful God that will supply everything that we need, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Use this uh, Use this uh, token, oh God, as for the further to use for the furtherance of your kingdom here on earth. Father, Amen. once again, thank you. We bless Amen. you and we give you back all the glory and honor. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. It's the choir ministration. Praise the Lord. Before we start the, the presentation or the choir administration, I would like to give a short um, testimony. Before this uh, song, God has uh, revealed to me, uh, this song has been uh, composed last 2020, you know, during the pandemic start. And, you know, I was been saying that people have been worried. It's not like they are under the darkness. Even Christian people have been felt like that. It seems like it, it seems like, like they, there's no light anymore. They they forgotten that Jesus is the light. Amen. So that's why the song. Sorry. Um, I don't know if it's ready before because my uh, I have a note, but uh, I I will come again. Uh, this song was be, was being composed last 2020 before the pandemic. Oh, the pandemic, oh. the pandemic, the pandemic. 
Okay. Um, sorry. <laughs> In the book of John, chapter 8, 12, when Jesus spoke again to the people, okay, I will read in um, King James Version. He said, Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness. Amen. But shall have the light of life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. As we sing the song, we pray that you will be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Jesus, you're the light. You're the light, you're the light that shines my light. Jesus, you're the light, you're the light. You're the light that shines my light. Hallelujah. I walk through the valley and cross over the sea. You're the light that lights my way.
Hallelujah. Wow. Anytime I hear that song, it's like heaven is, is coming down. Heaven is opening and clearing and coming down. Amen. I want to bless the name of the Lord for his faithfulness, for his goodness over our lives. And for bringing us together again mm -hmm. after so long uh, time, because it's been two weeks now that we're here. And first, I want us to pray for the choir. We've been doing amazing things, and God has been using them. I want us to ask that God will anoint them afresh in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray also for our deaconess for this powerful song, and every one of them in the choir, actually. That the glory of God will overshadow them, that their lives will never remain the same again in the name of Jesus. Now we're going to commit them into the hand of the Lord. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you all the glory. Father, we ask that you anoint our choir more and more. I ask, oh God, that they will be in sharpened battle acts. I ask, oh God, that as from now they will be heard all over the world. Their songs shall bring deliverance, their songs shall bring liberation. Their song shall bring healing in the name of Jesus. Father, Amen. in everything, your name alone will be glorified. Thank you, Father. Lord, as we go into your word, I pray that you anoint my tongue, that I may speak forth the word of life to your people, and that everyone that hears this message will become who you want them to be. I ask that your hand will rest upon us, and uh, power assigned against our rising, against our spiritual breakthroughs, shall be destroyed. Amen. Father, we Amen. thank you for our first timers. Thank you for Sister Shekina and others who join us today. We ask that you anoint them with the oil of Amen. God. They shall be women known in the land. They shall possess the gates of their enemies and their lives shall not remain the same again. Amen. Thank you, Holy Abba. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want to thank God for our lives in Agape Love and for bringing us together again. First, I want to say that uh, you may be hearing voices of children from the background. These are, I'm a father, so I'm doing my work also, and my wife is also available to assist. However, the word of God cannot be held, so we will break through. That many people don't talk about. Spiritual, there are there are levels in the realm of the spirit. There are levels in the realm of the spirit. For instance, if you read the book of John, first John, let, let's just go into the word first. First John. First John. We can pick from chapter two. First John chapter two, verse thirteen. Uh, let's speak from verse 12 and 13. First John chapter 2, verse 12 and 13. First John chapter 2, verse 12 and 13. And I love to share my screen. It says, this is Apostle John talking. He said, I write unto you. Can somebody read for us? What is the second, the, the next two words? First John chapter 2, verse 12. If you are there, please. Uh -huh. 12, chapter 2, verse 12. First John chapter 2, verse 12 says, I write unto you, little, little children, children. little children, because your sins are forgiven for his name's sake. Amen. Little children are people that have just come to know the Lord. Their sins have just been forgiven. 
These are people that just got born again. So people that just gave their lives to Christ. It is of this kind of people that the Bible says as newborn babes. So another word for them is newborn babes. First Peter chapter 2, verse 2. First Peter chapter 2, verse 2. The Bible says, as newborn babes, first Peter 2, 2, as newborn babes, desire the sincere milk of the word. Desire the mm. sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. Thereby. So when a person gives his life to Christ, it is possible for the person to grow into maturity. And when you were just born again, when you just gave your life to Christ, in the eyes of God, in the realm of the spirit, you are a little baby. You are a newborn baby because your sins are forgiven. He says, now let's go to verse 12. But after becoming a little child, there is another stage. You don't need to remain a little child all your life, all your Christian experience. You can go higher. Let's look at verse 13. Now he says, I write unto you fathers. Of course, you will learn. there is a deep father children. He said, because you have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto you, young men. I write unto you, young men, because you have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you, little children, because you have known the Father. Now, let's take the three steps now. The first one we saw is little children, but in this verse 13, the three levels of spiritual development were identified. The first one we see there, if you read from down up, instead of from up down, you read from down up, it says, Little children, because you have known the father. So the first one is little children. The second step of spiritual development is young men. And when the Bible says men, it doesn't mean male. It can be male or female. Male or female. Galatians chapter 3 verse 28. Galatians chapter 3 verse 28. The Bible says there is neither male nor female in Christ. Galatians chapter 3 verse 28. The Bible says there is neither male nor female. We are all one in Christ. So when it says young men, he's talking about people that have left the age of being children, of spiritual children, spiritual childhood, and they've gone to the second stage, which is the stage of being young men. Then he went further and says, I write unto you fathers. Now at this stage, you are able to give birth to other children. You are able to use your own spiritual children. You are able to nurture them. You are able to fend for them. And I'm so happy because I'm also a father. So I know what it takes. Sometimes you are doing this and you hear noise from the background. You know, it's what you are called to do, right? So little children grow into becoming young men, young adults. Then they grow into becoming fathers. These are people that can give birth to others. Now, there's something so spectacular. And that is the migration from being a little child to becoming a young man. And to get into the state of becoming a father. I'm not talking about physically. So many people are fathers in the realm of the physical, but actually children. So many women are mothers physically, but spiritually, they are babies. They are still wearing napkins. You know, pampas, diapers that we wear for children. If you see some people spiritually, they, they are still children. Now, how can I accent? How can I accelerate? from the level of being a child to that of being a father. That is what we want to talk about. And that is what we call spiritual breakthrough. For every new level you get to, there is a new demon to encounter. And your ability to encounter this demon and to conquer this demon is very, very important. So today, by the grace of God, I will be talking to you on spiritual breakthrough. But I will title it, when you are becoming too hot for the devil to hang you. When your life is becoming too hot for Satan to handle, that is when you are growing, when you are, when you are ascending spiritually, some things will happen to you. For every strong man in the realm of the spirit, some things have happened to them. Now, these are challenges on the ladder of progress. Some people, while they are trying to climb, they are falling. Some people, they did not fall, but they are just standing there the same level for 10 years. Do you know that spiritually, just as when you go to primary school or secondary school, sometimes some people get promoted to the next class, right? Maybe you are in class one, then you get promoted. Oh, you
in class. Do you know that sometimes it's also possible for people in class three to go back to class two? Yes, they say, no, 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 you didn't do well. Go back to class two. Sometimes they say, just stay in that class. You are not moving, you are not leaving this class. This is the class you will stay. That means the person is not experiencing breakthrough. That is called spiritual stagnancy. So what am I saying today? What I'm saying is that everyone that has gotten to the level of the fathers, there are some things they have in their arsenal. There are some knowledge they have. There are some truths they know. There are some revelations that have been revealed to them that helps them. And if you too, listening to me, desire to grow in the knowledge of the Lord and to become what he has destined for you, if you don't want to be a spiritual baby, but you want to grow to becoming a spiritual father, it is important to know these truths and to harm and guard yourself with them. So I want to thank God for those who are joining us for the first time. It may be that God brought you here just because of this person. So that in future, you can become a spiritual ego. So that your ego can fly when some people are doing like, you know, spiritual chickens. So what are the things? Now, I want to show you some things. By the grace of God, this life is a battle. For you to grow in the Lord is a battle. So let that be at the back of your mind. And sometimes when you are making progress, that is when the devil will strike. When you are doing well, and it's a sieve, the whole of angels, when you say, Father, in the name of Jesus, God said, yes, my daughter, what are you saying? Anything you say now, I will do it. When the devil sees that, you become a target for him. And he doesn't want you to get to the next level. And this is why you need to know these things. So some of you have been experiencing these things in your life, especially ever since we started Agape. You might have been seeing some of these things. These are knowledge that we must all have and we must all know so that your spiritual growth can be unlimited. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. Let us see what the scripture says in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. This is what it says. It says, for we resume to have spiritual breakthroughs we wrestle, we fight. Do you see it? To have spiritual breakthrough, we wrestle, not against flesh and blood. Some people are stopped, but they don't know what is stopping them. It is not another man or woman that is blocking them. It's not, it's not, it's a spiritual being, but against principalities, against powers in your family that know that if this lady, if this girl rises, she will destroy all of us. If she gets to that spiritual level, oh, we are, we are doomed. So what can we do to make sure we stop her now? We are not saying that she will no longer be born again. Let her be born again. She will still remain born again. But she will not get to that level that will bring her power that she can deal with us. Do you understand what I'm saying? But against principalities, against what? powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual weakness in high places. These are rulers that have ruled some people's lives. They've ruled some people's parents. They've ruled their, their family. They've ruled their lineage and they don't want to be disposed. They don't want to be dispossessed. They don't want somebody to take their power from them. So they, when they see you rising as a star, like the wise men said about Jesus, they said, we have seen a star in the east and we have come to worship him. For some people, when they see the star, they don't come to worship. They come to kill, to steal, and destroy. Like the Bible says in John 10, 10. So what am I saying? One, you must know that we are wrestling. There is a wrestling match. And it is not against things that you can see. Praise God. Now, I'm just trying to establish something to us from this scripture. Let's go to the book of Zechariah, chapter 3. Zechariah is in the Old Testament. Zechariah, chapter 3. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I read from verse 1. Zechariah, chapter 3, from verse 1. And he showed me Joshua, the high priest. High priest, the man of God, the pastor the child of God, the daughter of God, the redeemed by the Holy Ghost, standing before the angel of the Lord. 
wanting to enter to the next level of power, wanting to grow spiritually. And as he was trying to do that, what does the Bible say? It says, and I saw another thing. I saw what? Satan, Satan, standing where? At his right hand, at the place of power, standing beside him to resist him. He's standing there, not to help him. Does he say standing to help him? Standing to push him forward into power, not to resist him, <laughs> to oppose him. And the Lord said unto him, the Lord rebuked thee, Satan. Even the Lord that had chosen Jerusalem rebuked thee. Why are you opposing this man? Is this not a brand? Notice that statement. This following statement, notice it carefully. Pay very good attention to that statement. Is this not a brand plucked out of the fire? What is the meaning of that? Is this not somebody God brought from among others? Is a brand of fire. He wants to go and put him somewhere so that his fire can blow and grow very wide. Is this not a brand? Is this not a promising child that is going to help family? Is this not a promising daughter? Is this not a powerful woman of God in the making? Is this not a powerful daughter of God? Is this not a powerful man of God in the making? Is this not a brand plucked out of the fire? What do you think Satan was there to do? He was there to blow and quench that fire. He was there to kill that little fire that she has. But still, now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments and stood before the angel. Now we begin to see why the devil can attack people. So the Bible is complete. So what do you do when the devil is resisting your spiritual progress? What do you do when every time you try to go higher, something is pulling you back? What do you do when the devil has put a full stop or a comma on your spiritual progress? What do you do? You know what? Because I'm bringing one more place in scripture and we'll go into looking at satanic strategies. Let me read 2 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12. 2 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Sorry, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12. I mean to say. Beg your pardon. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12, talking to Christians, says, fight. Eh? Fight. Do you see it? Fight. The good fight of faith. Fight. In this Christianity, everybody is a fighter. There is no civilian. Whether you are a child, whether you are a teenager, whether you are an old woman, as well as Methuselah, you are a fighter. So Apostle Paul, who knows the mind of God on so many things, so many revelations, says, daughter, do what? Fight the good fight of faith. And in the end of your life, make sure you lay hold on eternal life. Because this is why God has called you. And you have been professing a good profession before many witnesses. You have been telling others about Jesus, but you must fight. You must fight. In the book of Jude, verse 3, Jude is before the book of Revelation. Jude, let's just take that one more. I beg your pardon. The Bible says, Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, about what we all share, about your life, about the salvation you have received, the Christianity you are carrying, it was needful for me to write unto you and to exalt you. It is important to tell you that you should earnestly contend, sincerely contend for the faith, which was once delivered unto the saints. It has been given to you to grow into spiritual maturity from little child to young man to fathers. But you must fight. Brother Paul said, you must wrestle. You must fight. It's not Apostle Jude says you must endlessly contend for the faith, which was once delivered unto the saints. Now, when you want to grow up, there are some things the devil will bring your way in order to pull you down. 
And I'm going to mention some of them to you all now. Please note them and please be reflective. Watch them, watch out for them in your life, both in the past and now and in the future, because you can't escape them. These are the battles of faith. And it is real, my dear uh, friends. It's real. Very real. The first thing the devil does to anyone who is growing spiritually is to bring lies to you. Lies. Lies of acceptance. Like, you remember John 8, 44. John 8, 44. The Bible says the devil is the father of lies. The first thing it brings to you to discourage you, the first thing it brings to you is lies. It tells you all kinds of lies. I don't know the lie the devil is telling you now. Maybe it's lying to you about your age. God cannot use you again. You are too old. You should quickly remind him that Moses was 80 years old when he began his ministry. The knowledge of the word of God can help to silence the devil's lie. No wonder Hosea chapter 4 verse 6, Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. He said, because you have rejected to know what you should know. He said, I was also rejected from being my priest. That's why you cannot know. Many years ago, I think I've shared before, I was having a prayer meeting, personal prayer meeting, and then somebody said I should come and join them. It was a deliverance case, and the lady was manifesting. I mean, the devil was speaking from her mouth and she was so bold and boastful. You know, Satan is arrogant. He's the grandfather of Goliath. So he was boasting. She, inside the woman, she was talking. No, I am here to stay. You can't cast me out. I am the this. I am the that. He was saying all this. So the pastor called. I said, ah, please come and join us, bro. When I got there, because my pastor, I, win, I reluctantly agreed. So when I got there, and I saw the, 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 the boastful, arrogant demon speaking through the woman. I had the Holy Spirit, what do I do? I just sensed I should start quoting the scripture. I went close and I said, it is written. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. And without him, there was not anything made. There was, in him was life. And the life was the light of man. The reason why you start with scripture in spiritual battle is because Satan cannot deny the word. He can only twist the word. Satan cannot deny the word of God. He can only twist the word of God. To suit the lies he wants to tell you. Like he told Jesus, it is written that he will give his angels charge over you to keep you, you know. So jump down. He twisted that scripture. He twisted the scripture. Immediately he heard that. The next thing he did was to look, turn towards my direction and to point finger like this. You know, sometimes in Nigeria, I have uh, seen people kill cows before. You know, it's not like a place where cow will be doing galavanti. They can, when they buy a cow, they want to do party, wedding or funeral ceremony, about 30 cows can lose their lives for it because people need meat. Sometimes when they want to kill the cows, you see the cows doing like they are Goliaths, throwing their legs, right? Everybody will be afraid until the leg he cut. So Satan does like to Having a spiritual encounter, I can tell you, you cannot be free. Ah, you are in this bondage already. Nobody can set you free. He's a liar. The Bible says, who is he that said? And it came to pass. When the Lord has not commanded it, Lamentations chapter 3, verse 37. Lamentations 3, 37. So immediately he did like this to me. Then I continued, because I know it's just boast. Then he said, who are you? And this is a very important question, children of God. Because if you are here and you are not genuinely born again, and you don't even know your spiritual, you don't have assurance of salvation, it will be difficult to confront the devil, especially when the battle comes. You don't get ready at the battlefront. You should get ready before the battle. 
You don't test your weapon on the battleground. You should test your weapon before you go for the battle. Who knows whether when you get there and they say, fire, shoot. I say, I forgot the bullet. I mm. forgot the bullet. <laughs> Amen. So you test your battle ready. And that's why as a child of God, you must always be battle ready. Things will come. Not every time things will be palatable. You might experience some things that do not point to God. You might come across some things that will try to... Jesus said in the word, you shall have tribulation. You will face tribulation, yet you are still a child of God. And you may be growing fast, just a part of the gymnics of the devil. You might be going through a situation that is not palatable, and it's as if you should give up. It's as if heaven has shut. It's as if God has forgotten about you. It is not true. He said, I have given you in the palms of my hand. He said, thy words are continually before me. He said in Isaiah chapter 49, verse 24. Yeah, Isaiah 49, 15. Isaiah 20. Yeah, 49, 15. Isaiah 49, 15. He said, can a woman forget her something child that she will not have remembrance upon the son of her womb? Though a woman can forget the child that she knows, he said, yes, I will not forget you. Isaiah 49, 15. So what are we saying? If the devil brings lies to you, you can count time with the word of God. So when he did like this to me, and he said, who are you? I asked the Holy Spirit. I said, ah, it's true. Who am I? The Holy Spirit said to me, he said, tell him you are a son of the most high God. Tell him your sins are forgiven. Tell him your name is written in the book of life. Tell him you have been given authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by enemies hurt you. Now, I am not saying this because it is me. This that I've said is what Jesus said to all his disciples, including you. He said it to all of us. Okay, I believe it, that it is mine and I claimed it and I said it as the Holy Spirit said to me. And you too, when you face, you can code that scripture as long as you are a child of God, it will also work for you. Immediately I said that, he shut up. And it was like somebody poured fire on me. And I said to him, I asked the pastor, I said, what is the name of this evil spirit? And he told me the name. The demon was so bold that he mentioned his name to the man of God. And yet, he was not dealt with. I said, what is his name? He told me the name. Well, the name is not the business now. Because the name though is not even fine. I said, in the name of Jesus, come out. Oh my. He was on, she was on the floor, rolling. Say, so, yeah, I will come out. Yeah, I will come out. And within two minutes, he was out. The Goliath was dead. Amen. And the sister got up, she was free. She later became a prophetess in that church. So what am I saying? This is what God can do. If you don't listen to the lies of the devil. The devil was trying to tell me I was not a child of God. He was trying to confront my authority in Christ Jesus. Maybe you too, when you go to pray and you kneel down, something will tell you, do you think God will answer this prayer? Do you think God can do this? This one that you have been praying every time at this time, consistently, nothing is happening to you. Your life is not changing. Why don't you stop? Why don't you look for solution elsewhere? Let me tell you, he's a liar. He is dead afraid of what will happen. One thing the devil hates is persistency. Anybody who can do like a child, who can tell God, I will not let you go, except you bless me. There is nobody that ever said that to God, and God did not bless. So the first one is lies from the devil. You must be aware. The devil will tell you lies. Number two is discouragement. Discouragement. Maybe you are doing things for God, and it seems that nobody is looking at you. It seems as if nobody is seeing you. The devil will bring human beings to discourage you. He will bring people ahead of you to discourage you. It will bring people close to you to discourage you. Let me tell you the truth. If you can say no to Satan's lies, and you can also block discouragements, you will make spiritual progress. You will. Because he has nothing to accuse you of. Don't ever be discouraged. Our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Most High God, he wanted to go to Jerusalem, and he decided to go through the city. Samaria, at one time, at one time, not the other journey when he met the woman at the, pool, at the well, not that one. There was a time he wanted to go to another place and he wanted to go through Samaria. And the man at the custom office denied him visa. He told Jesus, no visa for you. Oh my. The two sons of Boanerges, John and James, the sons of Zebedee, they were hungry. Ah. He said, Jesus, they refuse to give you visa. 
Oh my, 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 my. Let's call down fire and roast them. And Jesus rebuked them. He said, don't you know the kind of spiritual The Bible says, he turned away from there. He went through another place to get to where he's going. That was discouragement. But Jesus found another way. And he got to where he was going. You too, maybe you are holding a position now, or you are not even holding a position. Or you are just a member. They've not called you to a committee. They've not called you to workers' meeting. They've not called you to this one. But the grace of God is upon your life. Why not keep on? You are singing your song, and nobody is even liking. The song has been there for five months. Nobody say, I like this one. Nobody clicks. Hey, only two views for six months. It's like nobody likes me. You now want to pack shop. No, don't pack shop. The scary man will come. Those that don't give up, they rise up. Those that don't give up, they are your consistency can convince people. Your consistency can convince everyone. I go to number three. False brethren. If you must grow, you must know how to deal with false brethren. False brethren are people that appear to be nice, but inside they are deadly. They are people like Joseph's brothers. They are people like Eliab, the elder brother of David. They are the people that want to chase you, sweet, talk you out of the will of God. There are people that want to put bitterness in your heart against another believer. They will tell you, bro, you have been born again for 21 years. And they don't even call you evangelist. They don't even put you in that. They don't even do this to you. Don't you think you are worthy, more worthy than that? Or false brethren that will deliberately do something to hurt you. Some can borrow money from you and they refuse to pay back. And then you are angry. He said, today I'm going to fight. He said, I'm a child of God, I should not fight. But today I will fight everybody. Then you look for big cane. You want to break somebody's head. No, you don't do that. Don't you know that those who grow spiritually will have attacks, even from false brethren? Yes. And there are so many Judas Iscariots in the Bible. You know why Judas could have gone to hell? He could have gone to hell because he didn't forgive himself, not because Jesus did not forgive him. Because it is written of him, woe unto that man. By whom the Son of Man shall be betrayed. False brethren are everywhere. And these are fire quenchers. They are fire quenchers. Sometimes you can give them money to buy Bible. And, and then your money to buy a book. It and eat it. And when you say, Where's my Bible? They look at you. When you say, Where's the, the money? They won't give you back. False brethren are everywhere. Be aware of them. They can talk bad about you anywhere. Be aware they are there. And still, you must not hate them. You must still love them. The Bible tells us in the book of Hebrews, follow peace with all men. All men, including false brethren, including people of other religion. For without which, no man shall see the Lord. Follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. The next is physical ailments. Physical ailments. Sometimes you might, this COVID, somebody might have COVID. And you ask God, what? why did I have COVID? Why didn't Dickiness, why didn't Pastor have COVID? Why didn't uh, Evangelist have COVID? Why didn't Sister Rebecca have COVID? Is it only me, Sister Paulina? That were, anything can happen to anybody. If you are growing spiritually, you don't allow that to make a full stop on your spiritual journey. Especially if you are a dedicated believer and you are aiming to grow. The Bible says in this one you have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Praise the Lord. If you are following me, shout hallelujah. Another thing is confusion. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Thank God you are following. Praise confusion can come. Sometimes it's as if you don't even know where to go. You don't, it's as if the road is scattered. As much as you stay with God and you are consistently seeking his face, you are praying, you are seeking his face, you are living a righteousness, you stay away from sin, you will get there. You see, when discouragement, let, let me just go back. When lies happen to some people, some people, it is only the peel, the arrow of lies that eats them and they fail. And for 13 years, they are still in secondary school. They have not become fathers. They are still little children. Some people, they've hold on to that bitterness, unforgiveness for years. They can't grow. 
Because each time you try to accept the weight of that thing that the devil has placed over your head in the second levels, pull you down. And so when you speak in tongues, it's as if there is no power. The reason why there is no power is because there is a barrier in the second heaven. That's why the Bible says, the heavens over your, their head shall be grass, and the ground under their feet shall be high. These are deep words of God. Anyone who wants to ascend spiritual breakthrough must break through all these things, must be able to go through them without allowing the devil to take the belt. <laughs> oh. There are 30 more things I would love to mention to you, or even more, but let's talk about one more. Greed. Greed. Don't ever allow greed. It was greed that ended the life of Gehazi. Gehazi could have been more anointed than Elijah and Elisha combined. But Gehazi ended because of greed. Some people, greed can come in forms of lust for material things. Somebody can seduce you, say you are beautiful. Why not give me your body? It's just one day. What is that about? Uh, you, 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 you are outspoken. I know some people who used to sing Jesus, Jesus in their song. They can come to you and say, why not remove Jesus? Just say God. Eh? If you remove Jesus from the song and just say God, God loves you instead of Jesus loves you, you know? It looks as if it's the same thing, but it's not the same thing. Because to a Hindu who is hearing God loves me, he may be thinking about a million gods. To somebody of the other religion who is hearing God, he may be thinking about the God of stone, the God of iron. But when you say Jesus, it is specific. So they can ask a star to remove the name of Jesus from their show so that people, they can receive popular acceptance. And this is where many people are falling and they have not been able to rise. Now, I want to ask you a question. Have you lost Jesus in Jerusalem? Like the mother and the father lost him at the age of 12. The Bible did not say they continue to go back to Nazareth. The Bible said they turned back and they came back looking for him. So what can I do? Number one, no God for yourself. That is the way out of all these things. No God for yourself. The book of Daniel chapter 11 verse 32. Daniel 11 32. Those that know their God, they shall be strong and do exploit. Number two, give your heart to Jesus. If you are not, I don't say your mind, I mean your heart. That place where you keep secrets. Make sure Jesus is there. So you don't have anything you're hiding there. Anytime you try to hide bitterness, then you remember Jesus is here. Oh, I can't hide it here. You expose it. Number three, live a crucified life. Live, remember you die with Christ. Galatians 2.20, for we are crucified with Christ. Seek to please God at all times. At all times. Just obey him in season and out of season. Deliberately humble yourself. Deliberately, intentionally humble yourself. Even if you have, if you have the gift, don't do camaraderie. Don't show, don't display it. Just humble yourself. Deliberately. And when the devil tell you lies, tell him to shut up. Know how to tell the devil to shut up. And uh, you can give glory to God at all times and not yourself. Use the word of God. Remember, we are called to serve. Deliberately hold on and not give up. No matter what happens, serve the Lord with all your strength. And uh, also be able to see in the realm of the spirit. So that you can know the enemy, the enemy, the, the enemy that the enemy has sent to attack you. I say that again. Make sure you can see these things we have said today. So that you can know the enemy that the enemy has sent to you. If it is lies, the devil has sent you. No, this is a lie of the devil. If it's a temptation, you know this is a temptation. If it's anger, you know this anger. If it's pride, you know this is pride. If it is uh, anything, you know. I want to pray. I say, Father. I want to break you. Anything the devil has used to make me to be stagnant, remove it today. Father, I give it up today. I want people to be raising their voice in prayer. Lord, I give it up today. Everything the devil has been using to hold me down. Father, I let it go. My God, I want to break through. I want to ascend to the realm of the fathers. I want to live spiritual babyhood, spiritual childhood to spiritual maturity. I want to know the deep things of God. 
I want to grow fast. Some people are growing, but the growth is too slow. How long will it take a, 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 a child to walk? Imagine a man is taking 30 years to walk. That is a problem. Lord, I don't want my spiritual acceptance to be slow. Take away every traffic that is blocking me. In the name of Jesus. Father, I ask for all that I've heard your word today. That we may grow strong, strong, and strong in you. My father, I pray for everyone who needs to grow here, including myself. We receive that grace to grow and be all you want us to be. No more stoppage, no more blockage, no more disturbance in the name of Jesus. We will not fail or falter or fumble. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. But you see, if you are here, you want to give your life to Jesus, you are not born again, I give you the chance now. Wherever you are, place your hand on your chest and say this word after me. You want to know Jesus for yourself. Place your hand on your chest and say after me now. Say, dear Lord Jesus, I confess all my sins. I confess you as my Lord and my Savior. I Ask for your forgiveness. And I say no more to the flesh, to sin, and to Satan. I commit myself to you, Lord Jesus, and I will serve you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you said that prayer, congratulations. You are welcome to the kingdom of God. Get a copy of the Bible, either on your phone, or you get the hard copy. And your life will not remain the same again in Jesus' name. God bless you. And thank you for staying there in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's give God the praise. praise Amen. Over oh, to you, Evangelist. Hallelujah. Over to you, Mike. You can close the meeting for us and we'll sing our family song. Thank you very much, sir, for that powerful message. And we bless God for that. Amen. Uh, before we close, let us pray for our pastor. Amen. I want you to lift up your hands, lay or towards our pastor, that the Lord will lift him up more and more above his fellow. Amen. That the Lord will supply all their needs, not only for him, but also his family, even down to his generation. Amen. Lord, that the Lord will fight for yes, him, Lord, that the Lord will cover him from the head down to the toes, including the wife and the children. Many more Jesus. Let's go ahead and pray for our pastor. Father, we bless your name, O God, for the life of your son that you have used today. Lord, thank you for your word that you have spoke through him, O God. Lord, we commit him, him and the family. Father, we pray that continue to overpower him in the name of Jesus. More of your anointing unto him in Jesus' name. Lord, provide all their needs as they go in out and come in. Protect them in Jesus' name. Father, use him like never before. Father, in the name of Jesus, we glorify your name in his life and the family circle in Jesus' name. Father, thank you so much for using him. Continue to use him. Lord, that he will never get tired of serving you. But the more exciting in his heart that it will be in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you so much. We bless your name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise, Praise the Lord. Before we, Before we uh, one more prayer, one more prayer pray for all of us, all of us, and thank God, and thank God for you, for yourself, for your life. That the Lord has, that the Lord has been used you today. Uh, instead, uh, of instead of going somewhere, you are here, here together with us. It's a blessing. That is a blessing. Amen. And I believe that God will reward you for that so in Jesus' name. So let's pray and thank, pray and thank God for your life, for your life, for each everyone in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead. Thanks, God. Thank you for all your
Let us share the grace and fellowship together. May the Lord the days of our life in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you and Amen. keep you. Amen. Amen. May his face shine upon you. Amen. Praise the Lord. And you Amen. will go with peace. Peace all around in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Before we uh drive, our, we will sing. our anniversary. Oh yes, sir. So I believe we, we are all prepared. So we could have assigned roles for individual. But I know on that day, uh, some of us are going to do special number. Because her son is going to do something that day. I don't know what she wants to do, but I'm expecting her to do something. Uh, Sister Miena, I'm expecting you to do something. Uh, Sister Annalyn, I'm expecting you to do something. Mm -hmm. Anita, okay, everybody. This week, tell us what you want to do by Wednesday. If you want to sing, tell us. If you want to clap, tell us. If you want to jump, tell us. If you want to talk about what God has done in your life, let us know. Okay? Sister Zen. Amen. Yes. I'm expecting everybody, everybody to say something. Amen. Dickness Daily, of course, uh, I know she's, uh, she's fully ready for us. Amen. She will, she will dance. She will dance. Oh. Pastor, we will drama. Drama, yes. good, good. Yes. Now you can record your drama. Do it already, or you want to do it live? Okay. Or if you want to record it already, you can record it and send it. Okay. We will show it. Well, anyhow, you want to do it, we will be waiting to see. But please don't do more than what uh, you can. Okay. Don't don't give yourself unnecessary. Uh -huh. The Lord is our strength in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Over to you by fire. Amen. Amen. Let's go, Emma. Amen. God bless you, sir. God bless everybody. Let's sing our song before we go. We are all. We are all. Jesus. Keep happy.
Enjoy your day. Bye bye. See you next week. See you next Sunday. Bye bye. Bye bye. I miss you all. I miss you all. I miss everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you next. I love you. Okay. Bye bye, man.